Hello friend, welcome to the glorious country of Netherlands. People always tell me, do we have no culture? But today, we are in glorious wasteland of Rotterdam. Okay, so today I'm going to review Peanut and Bugs by Daily Bugs. And this product is some delicious peanut butter made from insects. Oh, look at this oily goodness. I want to put my finger in it. Let's open it up, okay? Take, take a look at the contents. It's, oh, it's, I can't wait to eat this. Oh God, what have I done? <laughs> it looks like a stool sample from somebody who has like diarrhea. Oh, mmm. People know the Netherlands for delicious products like Gouda cheese or pindakaas or hagelslag or oliebollen. But due to a serious famine, we were forced to eat insects from our gardens. And if we don't eat our yearly quota on insects, the government will call us non-revolutionary children and arrest us. So this is our state-sponsored insect coup. <laughs> and today, I'm going to do a food review of this delicious product. And now it's time for the food review. The moment of truth. Unfortunately, because we are at war with Belgium at the moment, we cannot afford to use a metal knife because the uh, government has claimed all our metals to make ammunition with. So here I use a more traditional uh, Dutch tool, it's called an OV chip card. And you can come take a look while I make the sandwich. Hmm. I've worked hard today in the cheese factory. I'm really hungry. It's okay. Everything I spill will be for the rats. And in the Netherlands, rats are sacred animals. So, mmm. Ah, I don't know how we're gonna do this without food poisoning, but I don't wanna put it on here. Let's put it here on this chair, okay? Mmm. Okay. Yes. Ah. Ah. I always wanted to be a doctor. Yes. Let's go. Ah. Oh, this is going to be great food review. My body is waiting for these vitamins. <laughs> there we go. Mm. <laughs> now for the moment of truth, people. Hmm. You know what? I expected this to be disgusting, but it actually tastes like peanut butter. So I'm surprised. Maybe it's because I haven't eaten anything in three months time. Or maybe this is really good peanut butter. Okay, gringo. Mm. <laughs> yes. Very good. Perfect. This is what being an entomologist is all about. Finding the limits to your comfort zone. Mmm. Nom. Okay, and after I finish this, we're going to do the food review. <laughs> Hey there everyone and welcome back. Thank you for watching uh, episode number two of my YouTube series called Entomophagy where I review several products of edible insects. That's right and today I reviewed the insect peanut butter. If you're wondering what the hell it was that you've just seen, well you should know something. On YouTube I'm this quiet and reserved and polite guy. But behind the scenes, I'm not always like that, as you've witnessed today. Uh, in fact, today I was filming with a friend, 
of mine who uh, offered to be my cameraman. And this is fundamentally different from my other videos which are solitary in nature and where I talk to myself. Um, but when I'm with friends, I show another side of myself, maybe a more extroverted and humorous side. A side of me that you don't see when I'm filming solo, but that you will get to see when I'm with friends. Uh, that ena perhaps enable my confidence. Um, well, I, I must say I do feel a little bit bad because the way I presented this video the peanut butter looked really disgusting and well the, the reason it was because it, to me it also looked disgusting when I looked at this oily substance I had already felt a little bit sick in my stomach uh, I was kind of repulsed by it until I took my first bite and guess what to my surprise it actually tasted good so maybe this is a little bit of a parody video. Maybe you're not used to my kind of style of humor like this. But I do feel like I have been shitting on a product that perhaps doesn't deserve 100% of the criticism. Or does it? Well, that's where the food review comes in, right? So according to the, the rules of my own web series, that, uh, that you can see in episode zero where I explain the rules to you, we're going to rate it on five different criteria. First was taste. How did I rate the taste? Actually it tasted quite well. It tasted just like what you would expect uh, of peanut butter to be honest. Which is not bad. If I had to give it a rating, I think I would rate the taste. Well, I think I would rate it a 7 out of 10. A 7 out of 10. Yes, it's true. A 7 out of 10. Actually, for the standards that I hold peanut butter to, which is usually not that exciting in taste anyways, I thought it was even above average for peanut butter, okay? So, maybe I presented a little bit over the top and disgusting, but to be honest, the taste kind of works. Trust me, I'm not sponsored to say anything. But of course, it doesn't taste as great as Monster Energy. Buy it now. It's totally not deadly. Sorry for that one. Yes, really, for the standard that you would hear, uh, hold something like peanut butter to, it was above average, for sure. Now really, perhaps the presentation was kind of over the top and maybe disgusting, but I think for the taste, this product actually works. Surprise, surprise. You can actually hear me saying during the video, during my short moment of insanity when I took the first bite I actually say hey this doesn't taste as bad as I thought as I thought believe me they didn't pay me anything to say this I'm not a corporate shill of course it tastes above average but not as great as monster energy buy it now for 9595 in your nearest store it's totally great and not deadly and you won't get obesity or heartburns Sorry for that. Let's continue. Number two. Creativity and practicality. You remember that one? I sure do. Well, oh, I think on the rate, on the scale of creativity and practicality, guys. First, what's creative about peanut butter that has insects in it? I mean, sure, it has insects in it, but that's the only... That's the only creative or original thing and you may as well uh, actually call it a gimmick. You know what, this was peanut butter that was made out of insects. But did you know that you can also make peanut butter out of peanut butter? I mean, I don't see the additional value 
of putting insects in there. It's a product that already works, okay? Peanut butter is a popular thing. That brings us to the practicality. Well, what's so practical about peanut butter? I mean, okay, it's a practical thing. It's something you can put on your bread. It's can, something you can take it to lunch. This is really different. This product, uh, if maybe you've seen it, it's kind of oily. It can spoil fast. Uh, it's probably not, doesn't have, it's not as well preserved as other types of peanut butter that stay uh, conserved for ages. I think this actually this is a product that would deteriorate fast. Eh, I don't see really, I don't see it excelling in any creative or practical aspect. So for this, for this part, I think I would have to rate it, sorry, a 3 out of 10. Next point. Aha. The, um, what does it read? Oh, yes. The... Uh, texture and um, basically presentation. Oh wait, what does it say? Oh, ingredients and texture, sorry guys. As you know, I'm not on a script here. I'm still like this all natural, self-made vlogger kind of guy. So I'm doing this like all from the top of my head. Oh, life is so hard being a vlogger. Please like and subscribe. Um, as for ingredients, I don't know what's what's so special about the ingredients here. I mean, it's just peanut butter with added mealworms inside. What's there to comment on? It's like the standard standard uh, thing that you would expect to see in peanut butter with added proteins, perhaps. It doesn't really alter the taste in a good or positive way. It doesn't add much of value. I mean, the peanut butter still tastes like peanut butter. It doesn't have any unique flavor. It's nothing changed. It's basically, look, there's insects in here. And I, okay, I get it. But I think on this scale, okay, the taste was a 7 out of 10. So we have to give it some credit. The ingredients still work despite insects being in there. I think I would have to rate it like, okay, 5 out of 10. Number four. Presentation and appeal. Oh God, this is not gonna be a good one. Seriously, presentation and appeal, guys. Let me ask you, did the peanut butter in the video, did it look appealing to you? Is it something that you would like to put in your mouth? Sorry, that sounds kind of wrong. Answer is no, you would not. Well, maybe your tastes are different than mine. But for me, it appeared to be somewhat not very appetizing which is one of the reasons why instead of doing a serious review i started going insane because i thought it was so funny and repulsive and uh, i actually kind of got carried away there but it's all because the presentation appeal it drove me a little bit crazy i think this one's really gonna be <laughs> oh oh i hate to say it but to me, this is like a 2 out of 10. It's not really good, guys. If you take like this jar of peanut butter and on top there's this layer of oil and mealworms. No matter how much you like eating insects, it's not gonna appeal to anyone. So, I get it. It's difficult to incorporate oil. Oil, it uh, doesn't blend well with other substances. It tends to be uh, lighter uh, uh, flow to the top. Uh, especially in a, when it's suspended in another fluid but nah this way it really it, try to find some solution it's what I would to fix the oily problem it's really uh, nah one out of ten sorry incorporation well the way the insects were incorporated in the peanut butter is okay it had extra, extra added protein but the majority of the insects in there I feel like they were just thrown in there. Um, just some weird mealworms sprinkled in there. And of course there's some extra protein that we don't notice that, were, that was blended with the peanut butter and probably the reason there was also an oily suspension on top of it. Is this well incorporated? I don't know. I don't think so. It's not really creative. It's not really... What does it add to the product? Really nothing. It's like a gimmick. Like, look, this is peanut butter with insects. Okay, I get it. 
uh, what's the use of it? Maybe to to let some new to motivate new people to encourage them to eat insects when they have no prior experience with this. Okay, I can get it. I can get into that. But still, even if you're gonna do that, make it more subtle. This is not very well incorporated. At least make them. Um, Make them almost uh, in. Uh, I think there's there's a, there's a, a difference between either hiding the insects in the product so well that you don't notice them, or going all the way and make them noticeable, and basically have this floating mouse of mealworms on top of my peanut butter. And you know, I think there's there's somewhere in between. There's a middle ground. Okay, you can put them in the product. Maybe in a subtle way they are noticeable, but uh, the way they were incorporated, uh, I think it's also 2 out of 10, sorry guys. Overall I'm not very enthusiastic about this one, sorry. Thank you for watching everyone, I really appreciate your viewership. And we're gonna have some great times this year. Crazier videos, better videos. This is a little bit of filler, okay, it's a filler episode, it's winter, I don't have anything to film, there's no nature, there's no insect. I've told you a thousand times my travels are just about to start and the month of January is a struggle, guys. Do you think I'm immature? Nah, I aren't, am I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it did would need to hear good. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Bye bye.